Hey guys, how you guys doing? I'm um, back up here in the Franklins. Uh, both boys are in school now here in El Paso. Pretty early school year, school season for the school district. So they're uh, they're in school. So what do I have to do for uh, Edwin's in pre-K? So he's only half day. So what do I got to do for three hours? I get to go and practice stuff. So today, I got I went out and I'm um, been practicing. This is one of my favorite washes here. On the this is the I call it the Texas side of the Franklin because to to my south there's a, a little gap of pass right there and that um and that right right near the top right as you go over it goes into Texas. So this is the Texas side and then the other side of 404 is New Mexico side with the taller or the, the tail end of the um the, the Franklins themselves. So on the Texas side here there's a wash that runs from from that gap down and it runs kind of parallel with the highway and loops where's my head? loops down and back around that way back towards El Paso instead of farther into New Mexico so this is one of my favorite washes that I come here to in the Franklin's like practice tracking and just get some kit hikes and kit rucks in and whatnot because it's it's a very it's a, obviously it's a basic wash but it's um the, the wash itself, there's not a lot of like big rocks and boulders or shit like that. So it makes it, it makes it easy to follow tracks. And like, like right here, this is trash following track. But when you get into the wash, there's sand and smaller rocks and you can tell, you can see the different disturbances and move, the, the movements, um, the rock, the way the rocks move and whatnot. So yeah, so I've just been up here practicing. I make got my trans sky. Uh, Trans Sky Defense Force, Trans Sky Camouflage Shirt. Uh, got this from my, my dude in South Africa. Um, I'm just rocking my RRV uh, with water, almost out. Thankfully, I'm basically done. So, I, out of water, got my ice pack. So, I, I, I changed this. Well, I didn't change it. I haven't painted this. I, I, um, I got to repaint this once I get my light cap. Concepts, but uh, I added this little uh, Leatherman Molly pouch. I've got my Leatherman. What I don't even know which model this is. Is this the Leatherman Surge? But I also put my green trip wire that I have. Um, I put my green trip wire in the pouch with it, so it's right there. So I can use that to make snares. I can use it to make early warning, um, shit like that. So that's why I that's why I have I, I added that, um, which is nice for because what do I have? I have in uh, in on the canteen pouch. There's um, water purification tablets in one side pocket, uh, a mini a mini magnifying glass, map reading, uh, inspect like inspecting but like looking at something more close. I got glasses. You got fire starting. You can use that and then a little. I think it's a is that little bic lighter right um then i added this multi-tool snare wire got my fixed blade um, and then in the ifac i have my ifac contents but i also have 10 feet of paracord and a compass a simple uh, not surveyor compass just a simple little flip-up compass so yeah i mean and with the one canteen it's just enough for what i did today they have about an hour and 15 minutes down back all within an hour 15 minutes so uh, really out here all you're gonna see is little lizards which is cool because when you walk by they run away and then you boom press tracks and you can follow you can learn it you can follow it right um, and cows because it's BLM land so there's cows all over cow pa uh, cow pies cow patties all over so yeah that's what I was doing I have um, I sold my L can so right now I got iron sights on this which in my um, why I choose which rifle video I did. Um, I'm gonna I'm looking at getting a six or an eight, one to six, one to eight optic on this. But in the meantime, I'm running I'm just running irons and which is great for this wash because once you, you look behind me and you can see you can look up up to the top of the mountain just fine. 
and if I had my binos with me, I wouldn't even care. Um, but once you get in the wash, you're not really seeing directly out of it. You're looking up at the edges of it and, and down the wash. And, and behind you, obviously. Behind you in the wash. So just the iron sights on the BR-18. Um, without the can, it's so ridiculously light. Um, so yeah, so you're just practicing my tracking uh, in shorts because in the wash, there's not a lot of foliage. So um, I don't have to worry. It's just get down into the wash, as you can see. There's creosote and uh, sage, yucca. Yucca has got these gnarly, let me see if I can, I chopped a piece off right here. Let me see if it's gonna mess up the camera a lot. So yucca, stand by. Yucca has these gnarly, here, hold on, let me go. Yucca has these gnarly, it's not barbs, obviously it's not barbed, but the end of the yucca leaf, palm, whatever you want to call it, the end of the yucca palm, see how it's uh, discolored? See how it's discolored? See how it's all brown right on the very end of it? See how it's all brown, right? That, it's rock, it's so like green part of yucca, soft, pliable, right? And you get to the end. And it's it, it gets harder. It's, it's it gets rock hard. Um I've been poked by this more than I have any freaking cactus out here. And and I've I've had more than more than one or two times where I get home after with with long pants on with both shorts and long pants, but I primarily come out in long pants with long pants on, and I got an itch, got an itch by my ankle because that's where I generally get poked, right, right, like basically above my fucking boot line. Um, there's an itch, 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 itch. I say, hey, Sarah, Sarah, come, come look at this, and she looks at it and she itch, you know, scratches it, and what is that? Go get the tweezers. Pulled, put the first time, pulled it out, and she's like, "What the fuck's wrong?" Because I hadn't been hiking in six hours, so I'd just been sitting in my leg, itchy, kind of. Um, and yeah, it happened two more times, both times, because I can't really can't see it from a funny angle. So she's the one that pulls it out with the tweezers. And she's like, "What the fuck's wrong with you? How do you not notice that?" I'm like, "Oh, I notice it because it hurts like a motherfucker when you get poked." And and so that you know, being out here. You got a six of one, not six of one, um, rock in a hard place, I guess, maybe. Because you wear pants, you're going to overheat, right? You wear long pants, long shirt, you're going to overheat. But it protects you from getting cut and scratched up. That's why being in the wash is nice, because I can wear shorts. I can kneel down, and I won't necessarily get poked. Um, yes, we can see a horse fly, or skin exposed to flies. But, you know, I'll take that over. I can sweat my nuts off every single time I come out, which I seem to do more so than not. Um, so yeah, uh, there you go. Practice my tracking. Get out there. Just you know, like I said, I, like I said, the boys, the boys are in school. I got three hours. Did an hour fifteen plus however long this video takes. And that's what I did today. Um, we might be going somewhere this weekend. Should be nice. Okay, uh, I think maybe up to the Lincolns, which would be nice. Um, get some, use some green, can, like real green camouflage. I think my rock my kale and tay. But yeah, um, I'll do. I'm gonna do a tracking video. Maybe if I find tracks up there, I'll do a tracking video. I'll do another tracking video because I did that intro I, to tracking ID for the footprints, the human footprints. If I can, because. It's really hard unless you know what to look for here, and it's hard to show. It's hard to show on camera, freaking um, like cow cow tracks, hoof tracks, unless you know exactly what to look for. And there's a bunch in a row. Sometimes you get two, and then you got to keep going, and you see one or two, and then you go, and you know what? You just it takes a while, obviously, to get used to it, but also to be able to see it without really, you know, struggle like doing the, the spore circles. So, all right. Um, yeah, so well you guys I hope you guys have a good weekend 
and uh, get out there and practice fucking get kit, rifle, camis, whatever. Fuck what the haters say. Wear whatever you want, get out there and freaking, you know, become pro more proficient. Become proficient and get more proficient in, uh, in whatever craft you're doing. Small team, big team, you know, groups of guys, communication, tracking, uh, just manipulation and weapons manipulation and everything. So, all right, guys. You guys have